Hi there, this is Andrew with CraftyBeatRoot.com. Today we're going to be talking about a little spur of the moment project that I came up with this week. I was in the mood to do some book binding, um, I know it happens to the most of us, and I stumbled across this fully written text for a Harry Potter textbook. Now it's not Advanced Potions or Defense Against Dark Arts, none of those real sexy books. Um, it was actually A Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration. One of the users on the RPF that goes by Omar Tool at 98. Um, I'm sure I've got it appearing somewhere here. Um, but basically, instead of it just being a prop book, which is just words, random words, blank pages, something like that, they actually went to the effort of writing a book and writing it out. And so I decided if somebody went to that much effort, I should probably try and replicate it. To do it justice, instead of just binding it and throwing a cover on it like I was planning on, I decided to fully replicate the prop. So after finding very few reference pictures online from prop tours and things like that, I actually went to the movie, found some very small screen caps. The best version you can get, the best picture you can get, is from Professor McGonagall's desk from the first Transfiguration class that you see Harry partake in. Well, he ends up being late too. Um, and you see it sitting on the desk in this format, right like this. How did I actually go about making this particular prop? Well, the first thing was I used this file and I printed it out. So using PDF, you can use a booklet function and you can print out, what I did is I printed out in groups of eight pages. And so then it would be bound by two at a time and then that would be stacked up. Uh, I think there's 146 pages, something like that. And so these are sequentially stacked until you get the total volume and then you go through and puncture holes. I just used a drill because I don't have the correct puncturing equipment. And then I bound it using a typical binding technique. I had some waxed thread left over from some leather projects. So I just used that to bind it. I've used it in the past. It gives a quite strong bind. After I'd bound the book, I decided I wanted to do the leather case. So I went to the local craft store, Hobby Lobby in this case, and found some vinyl. And after I got the amount that I needed, I cut it down to size and I joined it back to back. The way I glued it together is I just used some contact cement. It worked, probably not the best. Um, it really absorbed into the fabric, but it did work. And then I just cleaned up the edges, hit it with a little bit of leather stain, just to kind of make it look like um, a bit more leather-like. It actually turned out really good. I had the overall cover shape. I needed to add the details. So what I did is I actually took some of the images online that I could find of the actual prop, and I imported that into Inkscape and I created a vector file. Now the vector file allowed me to send that to my vinyl cutter. And then what I did is I used some ink, some gold ink with some embossing, and then I uh, embossed the cover. Um, took, I did a practice go. The practice go was a little bit iffy. Um, the real one, it's not perfect, I'm not gonna lie, but it does give a, um, from a distance, it does give a really good effect. And it's just gold embossing for minimal amount of effort and money, which I just had lying around from some craft supplies for making birthday cards. Um, it really brings it out. Now that I had the two separate parts, it was time to bring it all together. I used some gold thread that I had. I ended up doubling it up to make it quite a bit thicker. That's how I did the binding on the spine. The binding on the spine I'm quite happy with. I wasn't even sure how it was done. It looked like there was two groups of two, so giving the four separate binding. Um, and to throw it on, I just threw some glue on. Now the final little embellishment that I decided to add was the marbling on the covers. So marbling, for those of you that don't know, is an effect that's typically done by adding some inks to some water and then you add some paper over the top. Now typically a leather bound book like this probably wouldn't have it, but I wanted something to hide my binding that I did on my actual booklet or on the written pages. And a lot of hardcover books traditionally had some kind of page like this. And it kind of adds a little bit of magic, adds a little bit of fun. And it gave me something to do on the afternoon with the kids. So we did some marbling. The final thing was to just use some spray adhesive and to attach that. And then the final embellishment was adding the leather strap. Now I just cut some holes and cleaned that up. And then I just fed it through and glued it in place. And then we have... The Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration. If you have a look in the description, I've thrown a link down to the original forum thread where I actually got this file from and what I actually used. 
one of the benefits of working on a book is that there's always multiple crafts involved. In this one, there was book binding, there was leather work, there was embossing, um, marbling, there's a bit of everything, and it's really good fun and a really quick build. So if you enjoyed this build, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and check out craftybeetroot.com, and I hope you enjoyed this build.